This is something I think about um, from time to time. It's kind of a rabbit hole that I go down and that is how to connect this I am of Gurdjieff and the fourth way with the I am of Naz Nazargarada, you know, how he describes it, how that, that trans that connection and why do you think that Gurdjieff kind of topped it off at the I am taking place in the, in the centers? Um, he talks about that, um, sensing your, the three centers and saying I am and the resonance of the I am within your centers and in your body. I don't know. I, do you get what I'm asking here? Yeah, I think I like yeah. where you are going with that. Uh, okay. So you are, you are trying to integrate or there seems to be a, a like, how does this work? The, the talk of the I am that Gurdjieff would say were the exercises. There were some concentration exercises, basically. He would yeah. breathe the I am in each limb. And I haven't quite really done those much, but I'm familiar with them. So the concept or the practices related to I am that Gurdjieff talks about, as well in, in, in as opposed to Nizargadatta or the, you know, Rupert Spira kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you get the feeling that in the Gurdjieff teaching, he, he capped it, cap, mm -hmm. capped it like I am me, I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good topic. Uh, I mean, I really, you know, uh, I wish we could ask Gurdjieff about that, uh, <laughs> but um, when I hear Nizargadatta saying there, hey, dwell in the I am, or dwell as the I am, which is the awareness before thought, yeah? So he still stays, he stays at this, uh, basically the I am is what we are referring this as the presence presence of awareness, the, the silence of being, the being, uh, that which is aware. Uh, so I don't see any uh, contradiction there. I think it's, I mean, I'm sure it is the same I am. I'm sure it is the same I am. There's no, now how Gurdjieff went about trying to, I guess he, he, he was working with certain people were a certain level and I assume that he was trying to get them to a third state of consciousness to to be to also to to get a bit less asleep so he was doing whatever he could to uh, have them snap out of it and teach them certain something that will help them raise the level of consciousness and he did a lot of physical stuff i mean he would do all these dances and exercises that uh, required a lot of attention and then he will spend a lot of energy of the static of the monkey mind and or, or work people tirelessly and through this physical moving center instinctive center stuff they would be like ah. it was easier to to be aware, to be aware. Um, so I guess there are different ways in which teachers are trying to help people. And I think a real teacher will come up with different things, will create their own tools and will be spontaneous and, and see what works. Also, yeah. the I, I, I remember that that sometimes I, I read in, in some of the dialogue with Gurdjieff that somebody said to him like, hey, I don't know, I'm doing this self-remembering and I, I feel that it's all, my body is transparent and it's, there's this thing and it's happening and it's transparent and it's infinite. And, and Gurdjieff said, you must stop those things right away. You 
are need to feel your body right here right now i want you to have a cold shower in the morning and stay with your hands like this so you really feel your body you need to feel your body otherwise you are going to become a psychotic crazy thing stop all that right away <laughs> so so but you know this is in books and probably Gurdjieff would feel that well this guy is going into some la la land you know theosophy there was all this theosophy and occultist and la la land at that time right. yeah uh, but at the same time this being said if one is really going deep into the being in a in a, in a solid way good way then the body gets more transparent and it feels like it's borderless but it's not dissociated you know it seems like now that's why i feel like that the fourth way that got to us in the writings i was talking to peter about it it is the fourth way for men number one two and three to become a man number four uh, right meaning for regular people to become a serious practitioner you got it okay and and perhaps how to get a man number four to work on himself to become a man number five which is some beginning of awakening um, but then in terms of knowledge and books uh, the fourth way stops right there uh, mm -hmm. but I I, 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 I I don't think that there's a limitation of the fourth way as a path mm -hmm. we just that that's what we received here uh, so that's why I, I see and feel and I agree with Peter on this that thou may be non this non-dual teachings now they can become very useful to to take someone who is steeped in fourth way practice and is no longer sucked in thoughts and daydreaming all the time and has ability to witness and allow feelings and has known parts of oneself and all the little tricks and you know one is more aware more present one even has a sense of one's own presence you know as Agada said there's there's this more self-remembering true self-remembering happening more frequently more frequently so now a person like that this non-duality, non traditional non-duality, you know, where it goes into this Atman is Brahman, basically. You need to go into to, to break through the illusion, persistent illusion of being a separate fragment. And, and the fourth way, as it appears in the books, I'm going to give to you, Claudia. Uh, it doesn't go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always noticed that. And uh, I think uh, in one of the books, Ospensky asked Gurdjieff, I don't remember what the question was, but like he asked him, what is the way? And Gurdjieff said, the way begins on a level much higher than the ordinary man. So I feel like he was maybe bringing the population that he was working with, trying to get them up to that very first step. Because he was working with a lot of aristocrats. And like you said, there was theosophy going on at that time. And God knows who else he was working with. A lot of rich people who were high society and probably needed to, yeah, I mean, it was... I mean, yeah. much, we have so much esoteric teaching and deep teachings these days that was really not available at the time. People were just a regular, maybe some religion. Right. However, at the same time, they didn't have all of these distractions and all of this stuff that we have now. And so, but, you know, Francis says is Jean Klein. Uh, and in the, I mean, in the, in the non-dual tradition, there is this idea that there is the path the path to the path, and then there's the path, which seems to coincide with what Gurdjieff said. So, so the actual path starts a very much higher uh, than usual, where usual people are. And 
Francis or in the Jean Klein tradition, the idea that the actual path starts when there has been a glimpse that that which I am is the presence. There has been this 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 knowing that hey, I'm not kind of Joe trying to to become conscious being. I am this consciousness. Fuck. Whoa. Which is you know, it is, and so then now the path begins. But, yeah, we have to start man number one, two, three, becoming man number four, and so on. Thank you for that. Yeah. That was a great explanation. Thanks for that. Really good. I do when I read those, I read a lot of, of I, I revisited this fourth way and also Jean de Salzman. And I'm like a little uncomfortable that it stays at this level of like, this doesn't talk uh, about so much, doesn't talk so much about the bigger picture. And, and so one needs to go to the bigger picture, but I guess I can see his point. He's trying to have people not be in imagination about the bigger picture. So it needs to get them to a level of being overall more conscious in order to, to explore the nature of consciousness. And yeah, when I learned in the fourth way with Claudia and Peter there, I was totally in a separation mode. Separation. There was no talk of non-separation there. Not at all. And that is going to be a dead end. Big dead end. It gets twisted and like rotten. You meaning like, hey, it's my little consciousness. I am awakening. You are awakening. I am this the, the consciousness, the presence they were trying to reach was personal. And then now we are better than everyone else and, and there's this kind of separation. That's what I mean, Claudia. I saw you had uh, <laughs> something. But yeah, go go ahead if you have something. <laughs> 